Today we're going to do the elephant toothpaste demo. This is another classic chemistry demonstration of a rapid decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. So many of you have probably used hydrogen peroxide in your home and the hydrogen peroxide that you typically get at the drugstore is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Today we're going to be using 30% hydrogen peroxide and we're going to speed up its decomposition with the use of a catalyst. Uh, it's called elephant toothpaste because what it produces looks like toothpaste and if you're going to brush an elephant's teeth you need a lot of toothpaste. So. Let's talk about first um, the safety aspects of this demo. As I mentioned, we're using 30% hydrogen peroxide, which will cause pretty severe chemical burns if you get it on your skin. So as you can see, I'm wearing really heavy duty gloves, I'm wearing a lab coat, and I've got safety goggles on. Now, if you have hydrogen peroxide at your home and you use it on a wound, you would expect for it to bubble up out of that wound. But if you've had that hydrogen peroxide for a while, you may notice that it doesn't produce as many bubbles. And that's because hydrogen peroxide spontaneously decomposes into water and oxygen gas. Today, we're gonna speed that up. We're gonna add some foam to it and see some dramatic results. So, first we're gonna start with our 30% hydrogen peroxide and we are going to measure about 40 milliliters of the hydrogen peroxide. And we're gonna add that to a bottle. Now, you can do this reaction in all manner of vessels. We've done it in bottles this small, or we've done it in really, really large thousand milliliter graduated cylinders. You could also do this in a pumpkin and carve the face and have the foam come out the face, which is always really fun for kids. Second thing we're gonna add is some regular dish soap. And I usually add around 20 drops of this or so. So we're adding the dish soap because as I mentioned, we're gonna evolve oxygen gas and the dish soap is going to allow us to see that oxygen gas a little more. Once it's in there, I give it a little swirl just so the dish soap doesn't form a um, layer on top of the peroxide. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add, and this is just for fun, is I like to add a little bit of food coloring. Um, obviously this reaction works without the food coloring, but food coloring makes all things better. And, Today, I'm just gonna use a little bit of green and a little bit of blue down the side. Any color will work. You don't have to put it down the side. You can put it directly into the solution, but I think this makes it look really fun and striped on the way out. Now, the last thing that we're gonna add is our catalyst. The catalyst that we're using is solid potassium iodide. You can also use sodium iodide as a catalyst. Um, and if you have kids in your class that have iodine allergies, you can also use just regular yeast and that will act as a catalyst as well. So I usually use about a pea-sized amount of this potassium iodide. But again, this isn't exact. And we're gonna add it and see what happens. Now, you'll see that there's a lot of foam coming out the top. So that's the evolution of oxygen gas. You'll also see that there's a lot of steam evolving from the top of this bottle. This is an exothermic reaction. And if you were to touch the bottle, you would feel that it was, it'd be pretty hot. So as that hydrogen peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen gas, that oxygen gas is captured in those soap bubbles, which then are coming out the top. Now you may have noticed that I've covered the surface here with a puppy pad. I would definitely recommend using a tablecloth or a tray or something to contain the mess. It makes it a little bit easier. Now one of the cool things that we can do is that we can prove that it's oxygen gas actually being evolved from the top of this bottle. And the way we do that is we would take a glowing splint that's not quite lit anymore. And if we can get it to flare back up, 
it'll prove that it's been placed into an oxygen-rich environment. So we're going to take a splint and we'll light it. Then after we light it, we're going to almost make it go out. So it's just glowing. And when it pops back up, you can see that it's in an oxygen rich environment. So this is our elephant toothpaste demo. We do have this as a Carolina demonstration called elephant toothpaste. And you can find this and other really fun chemistry demos at carolina.com.